Uh, Rhiannon, thank you very much for joining us on press conference day ahead of the Women's Challenge Cup semi-final against St Helens on Saturday. Um, how much has uh, this occasion built the excitement for what should be a massive game on uh, this weekend? Yeah, we're so excited. Um, you know, we've, um, we, we didn't get the win last year, so <clears throat> we, put, we, we obviously want to put a few wrongs right. So um, everyone's raring to go and we're all buzzed up, so it's great. Obviously, this is the only trophy that's eluded the Valkyries since yeah. yourself and Lindsay and the rest of the girls uh, joined the club. I guess, yeah, how much hunger is there to, to uh, lift the Challenge Cup this year? Yeah, no, we're, we're really hungry. Like, we're just, every, everything is about, at the moment, obviously, not, we don't, we don't want to look past it, so um, everything's about this. So we're just, like, like I say, just sharpening our tools, keeping, keeping everything positive, nice and, um, you know, nice and tight. So we're all, all a tight bunch. Yeah. Obviously, St Helens, the opponents this weekend, we know how tough a side they are from that thriller at the LNER uh, only a few weeks ago. Yeah, um, yeah going to be a tough opposition once again. Yeah, it will be. And, and um, you can ne never take your foot, foot, foot off the gas against St Helens. So, um, as we found out last, last a few weeks back, so um, we, need, we need a good solid 80 minutes performance against them. Yeah. And I guess, obviously, if this fiction is another storyline, obviously the heartbreak of the semi-final defeat to them, obviously at this stage in the competition last year, is yeah. that still fresh in the girls' mind? Is that oh yeah, about? yeah. We still we still watch it back and we're like, why did we why did we do this or why did we do that? But you know, you live and you learn, and um, you know, as a, as a, as a group of girls, we've been to a lot lot of semi-finals and a lot of finals, and we've just missed out. Um, and unfortunately, that that happened last year. So this year, you know, we know exactly what 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 we need to do, and we know exactly. Um, how to play so yeah Lindsay spoke about that obviously that big game mentality and she obviously yeah. praised um, the girls for that for their grand final performance so you yeah. guess you're hoping to build from what you learned in that grand final um, heading into this weekend yeah it's, it's, it, it, it gives you a bit a bit of a confidence boost like knowing that that we can go out there and do it because um, we have always thought sometimes are we cursed because we keep winning leagues and we're not we're not we're not winning the finals but you know it's um, it's having that that mentality of um, of being a champion mm. and that's what it boils down to some some people are champions some people's up some people aren't so to have that mentality to to actually just like i say play solid rugby for 80 minutes that's that, that's what will win us a game and obviously the winner goes through to the final at wembley stadium how much would uh, oh. walking out at wembley mean to you oh it would be everything it would be everything i've said it said it a few times today and it's just, it's just every look, look, young girl's dream or young boy's dream you know everybody wants to go and play at wembley just finally, what do you, yourself and the other girls need to deliver then this weekend? What's the sort of focus heading into and into this huge game on Saturday? Just to um, complete everything, keep everything nice and simple, um, and just win the energy battle. If we win the energy battle, we'll we'll come out on top.